Hello everyone. My name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So, if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now, let's get started with this video. You might have seen the 413 request entity too large error in WordPress. This error usually happens when you are trying to upload a file that exceeds the maximum file upload limit on your WordPress website. Your web server will fail to upload the file and you will see the 413 request entity too large error page. So in this video tutorial, you will learn how to fix the 413 request entity too large error in WordPress. Now for example, if I hover on to media, click on add new and try to upload a file. You can see that this error is appearing here as the file uploading size exceeds 2 MB. So to fix this error, we have two simple methods. Let's begin with the first method. Method 1. Increase upload file limit using select PHP version. So firstly you need to go to your C panel. Then click on select PHP version. Now in the options, scroll down to upload max file size and increase the values in upload max file size. The post max size needs to be more than the file you are trying to upload. This is basically the upper limit of the file size which is going to be uploaded. So once done, move back to your WordPress dashboard. Now when you will refresh. You can notice that the maximum file upload limit is now 64 MB. Let's try uploading the same media file now. So I'll go to library and you can see that the file got uploaded successfully. Now this is first method. The second method is different. So in method 2, we are going to increase our upload file limit using .htaccess file. So to increase the maximum file upload size, firstly you need to go to your cPanel, then click on file manager. Now go to your public html folder or whatever the folder is where you have installed your wordpress. Now you need to edit the .htaccess file. So if you cannot see that .htaccess file, what you need to do is you need to click the checkbox besides show hidden files, since dot .files are hidden in cPanel by default. Now you need to edit the .htaccess file. Right click on it and select the edit option. Now again click on edit. Make sure you take a backup of this file before editing it. In the end we have to add a piece of code here. So I am adding it in the description. You can copy it from there. Now you have to copy the code and paste it at the end. Now as you can see that the upload max file size is 64 MB in this. You can even increase it higher if you want. Now don't forget to save the changes. Once the changes are saved successfully, let's go back to the dashboard and on refreshing, you can see the changes in your maximum upload file size. Now you can try uploading. And you can see that the file got uploaded successfully. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your question. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Hey before you quit I have an amazing offer for you. I am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I have already started working on them. Now to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. 
and then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.